Yo, 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 how are you doing on this fine Sunday evening? Hope you, hope you're well. Hope you've had a lovely, <laughs> lovely evening. It's very, very formal introduction. I don't really do something like that, but I hope, hope we've all had a good evening. Good, good weekend. If you don't know who I am, you know who I am. If you don't know who I am, my name's Sam Brook. I'm a musician, an aspiring musician, and this channel is just me documenting my progression as an artist, as a full-time artist. So, yeah, it's just something for me to look back on and hopefully for my fans like you to look back on and, yeah, just see where I, where I first originated from kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just, usually I just like to have a little catch-up of how I'm doing and if it's, like, pops to my head, I just ramble on a bit. <laughs> just kind of how it is. But um, if you watch my recent episodes, I'd say I've been quite down downcast down like just quite deflated about my current situation and how you know basically long story short i spoke about it in other episodes so if you've listened to other episodes before then you'll understand what i'm talking about but basically it's just how i am currently managing music and doing being a full-time student as well at university as well so i'm just really struggling kind of managing time and you know, obviously my main passion is music and that's something I want to dedicate all my time into. And it's just very hard to kind of, you know, spend most of my days, most of my hours on something I don't want to do in the future. And it's kind of stagnating my progress of being a full-time musician, essentially. So, yeah, that's kind of the main concern. So, like, as I'm doing my essay, I feel like I'm falling behind my music. And if I'm doing my music, it feels like I'm falling behind my uni. So it's like, you can't really... You can't you can't win either way essentially. So that's that's how I've been feeling recently, and my last two episodes have been kind of quite down. I'm not gonna lie to you, just because of just how everything is at the moment, and just how yeah, just because like I'm in the thick of exams, so March is kind of like the midterm kind of thing. So a lot of essays are due like mid March, and it's just like again, it puts less stress, uh, less I I can have less time on music. Like I can't do what I obviously want to do full time. And as I said before, like, the, all the stress that comes with having a degree and all that, the the benefits, of course, is getting a degree. But in the end, I don't really want to use that degree. So it's kind of like the, benefit, the, the stress and all the negativity that comes with doing a degree, the rewards don't mean anything. So all this stress and all this effort kind of means nothing to me. So, yeah, that's kind of how it is at the moment. But I kind of, I'm kind of looking at it positive light. I'm kind of, because, because I've only got about two months left eight weeks left i think i think it's like mid mid may and we're in the start of march so let's say like give or take 10 weeks so 10 more sandbrook sunday episodes <laughs> but i'm just trying to kind of see the positive side of when all of this is done because before i was very very pessimistic i was dead i was like drained i was tired like I, yeah like that's just what, what's gonna happen when you do uni. but when you're managing university and uh, music but I'm just trying to look at things like the positive light and I and I was just I was talking I was talking to my girl big up Emily <laughs> um and I was just saying I was just so excited how I, I I literally can't wait for May to happen because I'm thinking of a whole revamp in my room man like selling the computer I've got now and getting like a Mac um like a Mac so I can run Logic on it instead of running it on my laptop just like revamping everything, like, not revamping, but just like sorting out my room so it can be like a little home studio kind of thing. And it's just like, it, just envisioning me doing like music, like 12 hours a day, 15 hours a day, like just locked in my room, just making music, being creative and just like growing my fan base, growing my audience, just like I've always wanted to do. I just honestly can't wait. And that's what I'm trying to do, man. Just be positive because being negative like I was in the last two episodes, being negative, it, it doesn't get you anywhere. Like, obviously, you should kind of be dissatisfied with where you are at the moment. In order to improve, in order to, you know, have a better future, you're obviously, you obviously have that sense of, I'm not happy where I am. Because otherwise, you wouldn't want to improve. There's no need for it. So if you do want to improve, your, if you want to improve anything, in your head, you're like, you are not happy where you are now. So that of course you're gonna you're gonna have some aspects where you're like, mm, I'm not happy. But it's more it was more just like mentally drained and physically drained, and it was just like for nothing. 
because I'm more than happy <laughs> to be physically mentally drained if I, if I'm doing music if it comes if a hit song come out comes out of it or like if if more people listen to my music if more people like what I'm making that's great I'll I'll happily sacrifice being mentally just like drained like mental clutter mental block um not mental block, men, yeah like just cluttered mentally like physically you're just tired but I'd I'd happily sacrifice being tired you know you know like mentally yeah, being just like <laughs> mad just out of it for music because that's what that's what artists do that's what great artists do they literally sacrifice everything they can to produce a great body of work however i'm feeling like that but what i'm getting out of it is nothing that i'm gonna use so that's why i'm just like it's very down because it's like i'm doing a lot of work and it's like what's this for like what is this actually for there's no like yeah the only thing this degree has kind of helped me with is time management just being able to manage doing a full-time degree a joint honors whilst managing a business like a music like because doing music is a business so you know like essentially it is like i don't like to i don't really like to look at it that way but to to if you if you compare a business to a music they we do the same thing in terms of growing a fan base you know in in the business side they're called consumers but for us they're listeners you know what i mean but I don't like to look at it that way, you know what I mean, but it's mad, man. But yeah, I'm just trying to just trying to think of the positives, man. I can, I can just envision me in the summer just just grinding away, man, because that's all I want to do. Like, you know what I mean, like a lot of people, they just want to chill after summer, you know, because, you know, they had a long, stressful uni work. I literally just want to lock myself in my room and work non-stop until I get what I want. Just like being, just being relentless, man. So I, I just want it so badly, man, and I know I'll get it. Like I know, I know I'm gonna be a full time established artist, and I know, I know, what, I know what it takes, and I, I know I'm willing to put in the work to get there. But for the time being, I literally can't. I'm literally doing like an hour or two a day with my music, and the rest I'm reading like international relations um, articles, or like writing an essay, or doing Spanish. And so. For the time being, it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be like that, and because first semester it wasn't really like this. First semester, I didn't have as many modules, so I was a bit like, okay, this is fine. And second semester hit five modules, so many essays. So it's like, damn, like it is tough, man. But I'm just looking towards the future, man. That's all I can do. Obviously, I like to live in the present, live in the. The Power of Now, if you haven't read that book, great book. Um, but yeah, the future, I can't wait, man. Future me is a lucky man. Like, when, when I finished that Spanish-speaking exam, like, before I was a bit like, um, oh, I'm dreading the Spanish-speaking exam. I, I'm I'm really scared to do it. Now I'm just like, if if doing the Spanish-speaking exam tomorrow means uni's done, happily I'll, do, I'll wake up tomorrow morning and do it, and then we're done with uni. That's how much I want you to just be over with. Like, it's been a great, like, you know, I've learned a lot. Um, I've, I've changed a lot from the start of uni to the end of uni, 100%. Like, this is probably my biggest, like, um, character character growth, I guess. Like, from the from the very start, first year of uni to the, to now, I'd say I've improved a lot just in every, in every aspect, I'd say. Like, I'm not trying, to, I'm not trying to glaze myself, but, like, you know. I think that's just what happens when you get older, obviously. But that was a big, big phase in my life. I'm actually gonna, <laughs> I'm actually gonna shave my head off at the end of uni, just like it's like a new, it's like a new kind of era kind of thing. I just want to be like, oh yeah, remember that time like you finished uni and you just shaved your hair off? I'd be like, yeah, I do. This new era, man. I like, I like that idea. Um, even though I, got, I just got a new trim. Shout out Stefan, my goat. Did it nice, did it nice. But yeah, I will, in, in like three months time, you will see a buzz cut and you'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy means business. You know when you see a guy with a buzz cut and they're like, they're locked in. They are tapped in, man. But yeah, that's just, so yeah, this is, I'm just, the reason why I'm just a bit, I'm a, a lot more upbeat is <laughs> just because I'm just thinking like, I'm near. I'm near to being you know, I'm I'm near to being able to do what I want to do every day. 
You know what I mean? Like, I no longer have to read international relations articles. And I do find it interesting. Of course I do, because I, like, I wouldn't have picked it, even though I didn't know what it was when I, when I first picked it. But I do find it very interesting. But it's just not what I want to do. I'm not that passionate about it. But for the time being, it is good. But, man, I just can't wait to just... I just can't wait to make music. Lock myself in the room. Get the note. Get the notebook. Just write away. Get the guitar and just play piano as well. I've, I even bought a bass and a ukulele, shit like that. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. There's so much potential you can have when you have like a Mac computer and Logic with so many drum kits, guitar. You know what I mean? There's just so many loops and samples and stuff like that, man. So I can't wait to get into it. But yeah, for the time being, yeah. We are we are still grinding away at uni, but what can you do? There's nothing. There's no point. There's no point being down about it because that's just how it is. And recently, usually I like to give myself, you know, a day off every when I'm just burnt out, which is usually like every four months. I like to give myself like a three day block where I just like, just kind of take the take the ease off. I mean, I don't really do like a form. It just depends when I'm burnt out. It's usually in the four month mark. But recently, I just haven't had the time to do that. And I've been really burnt out. That's why I felt really burnt down. But I've been taking I've been taking the days off like quite, um, like sp- like fragmented. So like, one was one was this week, another day off was last week, and it kind of kills the the momentum because obviously you want to take three days off and then just go, go for it once. But yeah, yeah, man, I can't wait. May can't come sooner. I promise you, May cannot come sooner. But yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. Just optimistic for the future ahead. Although, like, my current situation with music, with just everything, how I'm doing with uni, not the best. But every day, if we can improve ourselves, that's all that matters. So yeah, we'll keep doing it. So yeah, um, my favourite, my Sandbrook Sunday recommendation is Emotionless by Drake. Oh my god. I've been listening to the song on repeat. I didn't even know it existed. It's in the Scorpion album. Great song. The first three lines of the song hit me hard because obviously as an aspiring artist, that's kind of what he's talking about. He's like, you know, don't tell me, don't don't say you were here from the beginning when you weren't kind of thing. I like that. I don't know, it just hit me. When I when I listened to it, I was on the train, I was like, Drizzy, Drizzy Drake. You moved. Um you moved me. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, but that's Jake for you, my goat. Okay, cool. I will see you next Sunday. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. I will see you next Sunday on the 10th. Yeah. Goodbye. Hope you have a lovely evening. Goodbye, goodbye.